A busy day indeed at the market. Just one of the vital services they provide here. And greetings from Seattle's Central District, where this historic firehouse has been renovated to the tune of some $12 million and put to wonderful purpose by a local nonprofit, getting ready to celebrate 60 years and under new leadership. And I've heard people say, well, was that the best investment to renovate the building? People come here and then what do they get out of it? It was a great investment because we needed people to know that we were going to be here and we're not leaving this community after 60 years. We're not leaving this community. But then now we got to raise more money to sustain the services that we're offering. Our organization was founded in 1964, predominantly to serve the Central District of Seattle, providing essential services around food and shelter and, and um, basic needs being met. And then we've had over time the opportunity to provide a broader perspective through research and data collection and under better understanding the needs of black Washingtonians and how we can collaboratively support and serve those needs across the state of Washington as well. So we have some walnuts, the yummy lettuce, zuc zucchini we say, and some yummy, yummy watermelon. When you come into the building, you get a, a sense of, again, that community being brought on the inside of the space. There's an acknowledgement of Roberta Bird Barr, who was a, a participant here in a variety of ways in this building. I often like to say, if it takes a village to raise a child, it's gonna take the village to protect the child. And I like to think we are part of that protection for our community. What led me to Bird Bar Place is the the background, the, how long they've been here. It's a black-led organization, um, and we have a capacity to do such such good here because we have direct services and change that's happening, and, and that's what I want to do. I can affect the most change here. 